It's time for Eric plays multiplayer save six. Hey guys, here I am playing save six. Where am I in relation to things? All right, so let's go this way. Lobenta. They want a trade route. Right, envoy. So let's get it over. All right. Did I make a note of where I went in my second city? It appeared that I. It appears that I did not. Okay, you. Let's see. Just my luck. David's like right here. Um, so I've already got horses, so I don't need horses. And I can already. Already got a coastal city, so I don't need that. That's a lot of rice. Um, cattle, turtles, diamonds, coffee. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. That's a lot of minus influence. Where the bloody hell is all that coming from? Interesting. All right, link up with him. Oops. And then go here. Okay. So, I built my settler. I was going to make a trader, which is good, because that city over there wanted to have some trade. So, hooray for me. And we'll go to the next turn. Save that game. Submit that file. Main menu. <coughs> and all right. I feel like there was something I was gonna do here. Maybe just eject. Still using my old uh, Gen One Nook. Oop, there we go. From the first stirrings Just of life some, beneath uh, water to the Brandon Sanderson caused me around there in the form of uh, of Mistborn Number Six, third one from the second trilogy. Um, although I'm still working on the Alloy of Law, but I'm about two thirds of the way done. So. Might finish that pretty soon. Um, and then, once I finish um, with all of the Mistborn books, I'll basically be done. All that's left is uh, a secret history and one more novella, and that's it. I feel like I just played this, didn't I? What in the bloody hell just happened? That was a waste of time. Did I mess up on here? I think I just may have. Sorry for wasting your time, guys. I mean, I also wasted my time, which I don't have a lot of, but that's my fault to deal with, not something you guys should have to deal with. Sorry about that. <coughs> it's just, uh, there's two games that load up. From the, the first thing. stirrings of life beneath. same dude there so I was not paying enough attention all right Dan will rise so this is the one where I am Teddy Roosevelt <laughs> uh, right start turn. there we go all right right this is the one where David was here, and I was exploring this way. And David forward, forward settled me. All right, Pantheon time. I don't even, who am I? The, well, I'm Washington. I'm not even sure what I should be doing.
Let's get extra food from foodie things. Why not? Work towards mysticism, and I earn some error score, which puts me at three out of twelve. All right. So he's heading back this way. So I'm gonna take the slinger over here. Hmm. Found a scout. And what looks like a body of water over here. Save that game. Submit it. the same Siondiak and I'm from the first again. stirrings so, of life yep. beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age to man taking his first upright steps you have come far now begins your greatest quest from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars Queen Sandu, the stars reveal you lead career to greatness. Build Seun to Good educate plane. your people, for the secrets of the world are theirs to uncover. Oh, right. Let's see here, let's keep exploring this way. Mercury, excellent, excellent. It's over here. Um, barbarians, okay, and a goodie hut right there. You, go to Goody Hut. Or I will forget. Next turn. I was like, that's taking a while to just bring me to the same menu. Alright, time for game three. again with the Spaniard. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I American on this one too? Yes. I don't know how. They must have a really bad uh, from the first stirrings of life beneath water for to the great beasts of the Stone Age. The website we're using or or Civ itself because we ended up with the same orient the same. Well, at least I ended up with the same guys quite a few times. Anyway, I've been playing um, XCOM 2, and that game is tough as heck. I don't even know if I'm going to keep playing it. Um, I'll probably give it one more May the forces of evil become session, but with how little free time I have. Hooray. Who did I meet? The Greeks, which are neither Dan nor Dave. This one, I don't think David is anywhere near me. However, masonry would be useful for uh, for stopping uh, these barbarians from plundering and other such things. So I don't know if this is ever going to end up 
uh, in front of somebody who matters over at Lightspeed Magazine. What are the odds that uh, one of them likes to watch Let's Plays of Civ 6 and happens across my multiplayer thing and watches to the 11 minute mark? Uh, but I will say, if any of them do end up here, that uh, uh, the strategy of providing your. <coughs> Alright, Delhi wanted to build ancient walls. Well, that was a fast turn. Look at that. The strategy I was going to say for Lightspeed Magazine, the strategy of um, providing your uh, some of your issues uh, for extremely cheap, like basically for free, through um, some humble bundles um, exposed me to light speed magazine, which From I'm humble really beginning. You have shown uh, remarkable also growth, including a reprint Leave they did your bronze for iron. of one of George R. R. Martin's early um, sci fi stories. Um, and now I've done a year subscription for light speed magazine. So uh, there you go. It's uh, it's worth it. You uh, put something out there and you know, at a loss. And uh, now you've gained a subscriber, and perhaps a lifelong one. I tend to subscribe for things for a long time. I was a Discover Magazine subscriber for a good 10, 10 or more years. Um, before, um, the only reason I stopped my subscription was because uh, I went to college. And, uh, and then after that, I just wasn't as into, uh, well, Oh, cool. Military tradition is I don't underrate the value uh, of milli- Um... Go for some mysticism. Like, dude. Um... Basically, by the time I got out of college, um... The internet was a thing. I mean, it had been a thing before, but it was really a thing. And uh, so it just didn't make sense to me to get stale, you know, month old news uh, about science when I could just get the latest stuff on the internet. Um, not quite the same with uh, fiction magazines, you know, those things don't really go out of date. Um, Lightspeed does offer their articles online, which is uh, seems to be something that almost all the magazines do, Clark's World and, and others. Um, Clark's World I end up supporting because I really loved the uh, the uh, podcast that they did. Um, Lightspeed, what they did is they uh, they'll print their short stories, but they'll they'll keep a novella behind the paywall, which is what convinced me to to get it. It's one of those weird things where it's like it shouldn't matter if someone if everyone else is getting for free what I'm paying for, but it makes it a lot harder. Like I only have so much money for entertainment. Um, and so why, if it's completely 100% free, why am I paying for it? You know, uh, I could just go read it on the, on the, on the website. Um, so by holding back at least one thing, uh, to me, it made it worth, worth getting a subscription. So anyway, you were here to watch me play uh, Civ 6, not to hear me ramble about my, uh, science fiction, uh, magazines that I'm supporting, but there you go. It's been Eric playing Civ 6 Multiplayer. I will see you next time. Bye.